Um, I'm sneaking into uh, the internalizing await stigma. And that's, you know, what everyone says, and so they must be right. The self focused thoughts on the meaning of people being a person with obesity, um, you're constantly questioning Am I okay? Can I do this? Uh, you're getting things from outside and you're taking it in. So you're never safe when you go into a room. And you get more and more confused about what can you do. Uh, and like Ted was talking about this not being uh, there and not being available. Uh, so we have, um, when we're in, in society as such, we end up with a macro level, which is the policies and planning. Well, you know, uh, people are seeing what can we do and what should we be doing. Uh, but it's basic on what we've been talking about, not being fitting into society itself. And then many level, which is the specific methods, models, and micro, the individual patient. Usually we talk about the macro level. Usually we put people there because we don't want to get into talking about the individual experience. Neither actually the individual experience of uh, people around us. It's like a friction all the time between because you don't really want to be, I mean, sorry, you really don't want to be together with that fat girl that uh, Vicky was just talking about. It might be a fat man. Uh, or boy, and so it affects the individual patient. The ladder and so, the good old ladder of participation. Policy uh, directs advocating user enrollment. We know and we understand and we learn from other organizations who are fighting what we're doing. We also know that the professional, good morning, <laughs> protectionism, what uh, people who are in the profession want to keep us in the uh, profession within the circles, uh, which is really kind of funny uh, because we, what we need is have plenty places to go to deal with the plenty problems that we have. We go to user consultation to understand, try to get information, and that's why you're sitting here today. You want to ask, you want to know what is it we are experiencing, what we are thinking, what we are lacking, what we want. And uh, looking at the medical model, uh, what is needed and what we can do. Well, then the policy that we are living with uh, is trying to uh, get going and implementing the involvement. We need the support, like all the other people with disability. And to God knows you're not allowed to call this a disability. But what in the world really are you going to call it? We're all not only fat, we're having all the same problems as you do with all the various the other problems, physical or mental problems. <coughs> so we need to sneak in and see what is it we need. I was talking about the fact that you're not accepted where you are, Vicky was talking about the same thing. And who's going to take on helping and supporting us to get space in society? And uh, we have the medical model, that's what David was talking about. We also need the humanistic model. We need people to think in terms of who are we? Not say, well, I got the group together and we are going to blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm like Tent was saying, principally, what can I do to invite you to my home to feel good with you? Not walk out the door. And that's not, not only interaction between individuals, it's also within the healthcare system, within the schools, within the uh, education of people getting into work field. So we're all in a circle and uh, touching each other. No, we didn't have that one. We made a very, the Arnstein ladder, have you heard about that? 
how you're bit by bit are stepping up and saying, claiming more a right to be a normal person and getting the services that you need. And help with getting into the various different places where you are. What can you do to the school teacher to realize that you are a clever human being who can do things and not, ooh, well, you can't really perform any more than that. What can we do to get the gym teacher to get the kid to be allowed to be there? What can we do to get the national money dividing unit to realize that we might need more money for certain things? And oops, then you get into this thing of being a disabled person. Ooh, we are at some times. And then we need services. We need all this kind of services that you need in other places. Uh, and that's when it's not okay. Uh, I went to a place uh, at one time and they were doing giving services to uh, people really smart, but I'm going to let Mary take talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I was having a, a, a speech about marginalization of uh, people. How we systematically put them from something that is a normal person bit by bit into being something that is taken care of because we have to take care of. On the other hand, folks, there's a lot of positive things going on. Here you're sitting, a whole lot of people, and you're caring. Otherwise, probably you wouldn't be here. Now we can get big, big clothes. Now we can get all these other positive things so that we can be part of society. So, all in all, uh, we're doing, uh, we could even do better. But that means getting at the pinpoint of where are the knots that keep all this restriction together. And what can we do to? Yeah.